Word is the lamp unto our, our feet. Oh Lord, please guide us and lead us in this sin-darkened world where many times we don't see the way out because even difficulties and trials may hit our lives. But with you, Lord, we may see the way out. We may see your way where you want to lead us. Oh Lord, please help us to be this light that you have offered, Heavenly Father, in your Son, Jesus Christ. And help us to show many people that you are the only solution. You are the, the source of that grace, that grace that contains your love, your forgiveness, and acceptance. Help us, Lord, to be your follower and your messengers. Oh Lord, please help those who are having difficulties and trials, who don't know the way out, those who are uh, experiencing sicknesses, illnesses, Lord. Lord, we pray for our dear brothers and sisters, those who are in nursing homes, or those who are uh, homebound. Please bless their lives. Give them, Lord, your, your power, your healing power and comforting power. And especially we lift up to you our dear brother, Ed Sabo, who had the procedure, but the, uh, the doctors could not, could not finish and, uh, and complete that. Lord, please help him and ease his sufferings and uh, bring him your healing power. And Lord, we lift up to you the dear family members and friends of Helen, dear Helen Gasso. Well, we said our final farewell to her this past week, Lord. Please comfort the family members and friends and our church. Oh well, Lord, please be with us. Bless us and help us as we want to continue to follow you as Christ-like Christian people. And Lord, I pray as the pastor of this church for protection. Lord, as, as you have protected, uh, protected us until now, please continue to do that from this horrible virus, the coronavirus, Lord. Please give good health to my dear friends, brothers and sisters, Lord, and protect the, the small, the little children, the elderly, the mid-aged, Lord. Help us, Heavenly Father, protect our lives. Well, Lord, we pray for uh, the pastor, uh, Reverend Laura, who will come to our church this coming week, Heavenly Father, who will arrive to America with his wife and uh, with his uh, nine-year-old daughter. Please bless them and give them safe and sound trip to America. And Lord, please protect them from this uh, virus or any sicknesses, illnesses, Lord, so they may arrive safe and sound and being healthy. Oh Lord, help us and bless us. Bless our church. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, as he taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
the, uh, the continuation of the first wave, <laughs> unfortunately. But uh, now there are more strict uh, regulations uh, in Cleveland, uh, throughout Cleveland. So let us uh, keep these regulations and let us protect one another. And mostly may God protect us and bless us uh, and, uh, and protect our loved ones. Dearly beloved, uh, a sad news uh, I have to uh, share with you. Our dear uh, sister and church member Helen Gazzo passed away and uh, we said our final farewell to her this past uh, Friday at uh, Highland Park Cemetery. We had a graveside service and quite a few church members came and, uh, and uh, said goodbye to her. Uh, we continue to pray uh, for comfort for the dear family members, friends and church members since we dearly love Helen. She was in the choir, she was helping with our dinners and luncheons and uh, she loved to make donuts, as you know, and uh, she was always here, even though she uh, had difficulties and trials, health issues, major health issues in the past years, she was transported here, she arranged that, and she came to the services and also for our events. So may God bless her memories and, uh, and may God bless the morning family members. Dear friends, uh, next Sunday we will have combined worship service at 11. Uh, please join us and uh, please come to the uh, worship service. I will conduct the service and on July 26, two Sundays from now, our dear Chief Elder, uh, Chief Elder Dr. Albert, uh, Albert Ladani will conduct uh, the worship service. Please come and listen to the message uh, that uh, the Lord God uh, wants to say to our dear Chief Elder. Dearly beloved, as you know, and uh, it was uh, announced uh, several times in the past couple of weeks, uh, a scholarship intern pastor uh, will arrive to our church uh, with his dear wife and a nine-year-old daughter this coming week. Uh, please pray for them. Uh, they uh, are planning to arrive on uh, Thursday to the United States. And uh, please pray for them for safe uh, travels and uh, for, uh, for protection since uh, they transfer uh, several airports. So may God uh, protect him and his family uh, from this coronavirus or from any sicknesses, illnesses. Please uh, pray for them. We were arranged, we were able to arrange uh, the accommodation for them. Uh, and uh, uh, also our church bought a car. They uh, will be able to use that. So thanks be to God for all these uh, technical things that were arranged. However, a couple of things would be needed uh, still. Uh, if you have a queen size or a king size mattress, just a mattress would be needed. That would be greatly appreciated uh, if you could offer and donate that to the family. Or any new or, uh, uh, or hard, hardly used items that you think that uh, they could have. Uh, please uh, bring that uh, next Sunday uh, to the church. That would be greatly appreciated. So uh, only new items or, uh, or slightly used uh, items would be needed. You know, we don't want to give them, obviously, uh, very used ones, anything. So, but the most important would be a mattress uh, at this time. Please see me at the worship service if you have one and you would be able to do it. Thank you so much. Lastly, but not least, uh, let us bring forth our offerings to the glory of God and for the benefit and blessing of our dear church. May the Lord help us your offerings. Thank you.
gracious Heavenly Father, who need not be enriched with our gifts that we may bring, yet who love a cheerful giver, receive these our offerings, our spirits, souls, and our bodies, living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you. Through your glory, through Jesus Christ, your priceless gift, we pray. Amen. People of God, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. Amen.